Steven and I'm Elijah and in today's episode we are going to review something so unusual that if you will see the thing for the first time you would probably say what the hell is that? And this beautiful feeling will stay with you until you realize that it's just a fablet hybrid between phone and tablet with the detachable gamepad. And name for this weird looking device is Wingpax. This gaming fablet built on octa-core 1.3 GHz processor MTK8783 has 2 GB of random access memory and 32 GB of internal storage memory. The device also supports SD card up to 128 GB and what is more important has slot for micro SIM, which means that you can use it as a fully functional smartphone. Design of Wingpacks most likely inspired by gaming laptops. Body has a form of octagon where back cover made mostly of metal with the plastic insert on the both sides. Physical buttons on the top are easily recognizable and very easy to press. All the ports including port for micro USB and micro HDMI located on the right side of the device. So what makes this piece of technology a gaming device you may ask? Well, it has a nice accessory foldable gamepad where you can install the fablet. Just pull the gamepad in hand, install the headset in between and lock it on the back. It remains only to connect the phone via Bluetooth. To do that, simply press and hold the big W button on the gamepad and then find and choose Wing Joystick among available devices in the Bluetooth settings. And that is all, Wingpax is ready for use. Gamepad can also be used with any other devices that support Bluetooth. Since manufacturer positioning Wingpax as gaming device, first of all, we decided to check its gaming capabilities. In Modern Combat 5, you may expect some serious FPS drops in some moments, however, more most of the time the game keeps 20-25 FPS. It may annoy a bit, but you can still comfortably play it. Epic Citadel and Rio Racing running quite smooth and both giving around 25-30 FPS. Public has decent 8-inch IPS display with Full HD resolution which performing greatly on direct sunlight and look gorgeous under any angle. It's quite sharp, bright, colorful, very responsive and support up to 10 touches. Both 13 megapixel rear camera and 8 megapixel front camera are quite alright, although they play a rather nominal role in the headset. Rear camera have very nice exposition setups, great color rendering, however it lacks sharpness and picture seems to be a bit blurry. What is even more surprisingly, both cameras have very low noise level while making pictures in low light conditions. Tablet equipped with 5400 mAh built-in battery and under the load of Apex Citadel with 100% brightness and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modules turned on, device holds the charge for about 4 and a half hours. During the normal use, it holds the charge for 17-20 hours or even more depending on setting configurations. And that is all for today, I'm Elijah, hope you found this review useful. If you want to buy the device, click on this button here. If you want to subscribe, press this icon right over there. And if you want to watch more of my videos, please click on this window. Like our video, leave the comments in the section below. Thank you for watching and farewell.